Alrighty. Welcome back. Another day in the saddle. Hope you guys can hear me. Microphones in uh, superbike helmets are never fun. Never easy to get right. Everything's so close. Um, this is a quick one. It's a first impression. Uh, it's not really a first impression because I own one. Uh, I have a 2017 Triple Black. 1200 this is a 2021 triple black 1250 it's the uh, normal GS uh, not the adventure with the big tank and and all the wide bits but uh, pretty loaded um, has everything that you can imagine uh, so quite cool and I must say I can already feel a difference in the shift cam motor if you didn't know already I think 2019 BMW put the shift cam engine in the 1250s which uh, improves uh, all kinds of things but namely your bottom end power mid-range power uh, it makes the bike feel more responsive and it could definitely work so uh, it's been around I think about two years and it, it definitely works it's a it's definitely a better more responsive engine than my 1200 although I love my 1200 uh, you can definitely feel a difference uh, of course uh, BMW has probably the best screen on the market six and a half inch uh, TFT screen uh, the Sun is not great on it at the moment but I can see it just fine so I don't know how the camera is picking it up um, but yeah it's it's pretty incredible that uh, that they're able to put such a nice screen on these bikes uh, everybody's catching up for sure uh, no doubt but they definitely pretty much have the top at the moment uh, best I've ever other seen is the the KTM's they have a great screen as well um, but yeah it's, it's awesome so it's very very nice of course now it makes these joysticks work on the left hand side uh, these joysticks now work uh, before I like on my bike I have a joystick here but uh, it only worked when you put the the nav in the in the cradle uh, whereas on my bike I've got the phone mount where my phone mounts there uh, and I put my nav there and just Google Maps and it works perfect so what can we say about this bike well apart from the motor which is obviously the one of the greater parts uh, there's some, been some new features with the um, they've now put heated seats I don't know if it's standard but uh, BMW didn't quite offer that before and uh, the this 12, 1250 has heated seats controlled by the screen uh, obviously BMW's pretty much always had heated grips uh, so in the past the button was here uh, on the right hand side where my thumb is above the mode button uh, and uh, you just put three settings but now if I press it you'll see I have the option for grip and seat and that's controlled by the uh, joystick so I'll show that a bit later but yeah you do it you do it yeah it's not too finicky I thought initially that it might be um, but it's not so that's cool and uh, it's very easy to see and then the rear pillion has a button uh, sort of on the left hand side under their leg there's a button for two settings I think on here there's five settings but it's a nice addition uh, that BMW had, uh, you know, Triumph has had it a little while. I don't know about the Ducatis or the KTMs, but Triumph has had it. So I'm glad that they did it. Uh, yeah, otherwise seating position is fantastic. You, you, you're, you're on arguably the best touring bike, adv touring adventure bike. They are amazing. They are comfortable. I've done, uh, you know, a thousand kilometers in a day before. I've done the Sabi route in a day. Uh, you know, I've done... Uh, now sprayed and back in the same day. I've, I've done a few a few long trips like this both on my own and both with a pillion And the reason I'm testing with traffic today is because a lot of bikes are going to be in the traffic So I thought you know what let me come out at sort of four o'clock and Do a quick ride through the traffic and show you what it's like because that's you know, you see so many of these through traffic uh, and you wonder why and they get a bit of a bad rep, but you know there's bad guys in cars so some guys aren't great but other than that we're talking about the bike which is the important part and uh, obviously all the features like up and down 
auto blooper quick shifter that's all there uh, the BMW brakes uh, their new calipers which I subsequently upgraded my bike to because it is they are just single finger perfect as I like my brakes I'm just using a single finger and I just touch the rear brakes BMW does have the feature where you know if you grab the front brakes hard enough the rear is also kind of grabbed so it kind of settles the bike when it when you're braking hard and on this bike if you brake hard your hazards come on I think it's a Euro 5 thing but yeah you can see it's got plenty juice and I'm not even uh, full throttle that was kind of like half just over half throttle so again I don't see the, the need for power that's like out of this world for these things because it just becomes unrideable uh, you tend to just override what these suspensions and stuff can do in this case as usual uh, keyless keys in my pocket uh, electronic suspension all fully adjustable as you ride uh, that's all controlled here on the left hand side and your menu controls are on the right uh, just left of that um, so very easy very simple to use and the nice thing is it's uniform I get onto a super bike I get onto a, a 1600 Tourer or whatever they the other bikes they have and the buttons are similarly laid out so it's very easy for me to figure it out um, the screen's adjustable with the knobby yeah in the front uh, I never have a problem I'm getting no buffeting so I like the screens just standard as they are taller guys will have extensions uh, and bar raises not a fan of bar raises simply because um, I feel like maybe it takes away the sort of slow speed accurate control uh, but that it's a hugely debatable item uh, you know riders preference so really just up to you but I don't like it but yeah bar rises available through BMW now um, this bike has a, a stock exhaust on and to be dead honest sounds throaty enough does what it needs to do it's not too loud it's always nice you know you it's great to put the acros on or the sc projects or uh, whatever arrows or whatever brand you put on but i tell you when you tour and i and, and it's what i use my gs mainly for if you do tour you end up with um quite a loud sound on the, and on the highways and the long roads and it's not great uh, i haven't done it with a acro so i can't really speak to it but with an arrow uh, it was too loud so if it is fun when you're just you know commuting then it sounds like then it's great uh, but going through the menus as simple as pressing down and then you've got my vehicle and then if you've connected your phone you've got turn by turn nav you've got your music control you've got your telephone uh, and then you've got your settings it won't allow me to mess the settings now I'm going too fast uh, but if I go back to my vehicle and I press down again I can see all things like water temperature and and uh, oil temperature and buy a tire and how much fuel I got left and battery voltage and all the good goody goody things that are that you'd want to see a little flick to the to the right on the joystick and I can see my trip computers one and two so I mean just super easy and then directly into tire pressure um, so you can you can have a look at that if you feel like something's come up service requirements remaining distance and so on if I want to exit out I press up on the menu press up again and I'm back on the screen very easy very responsive very quick as they should be uh, these are expensive investments but I tell you you can feel the quality the way the seating position I, I know there's three adjustable positions if I'm not mistaken on the uh, rider seat uh, I'm a shorty uh, so I don't really have it very high I kind of have it in the medium position uh, very easy to do with a key and yeah it's takes the bumps with ease i want to do suspension i'm in dynamic road so if i go into road and i leave it it'll go into road it'll soften the bike up a little bit thank you uh yeah just super easy just easy to use uh, quick shifters very i mean we, we recently did that review on the gsxr 1000 the super bike and we're not comparing apples to apples and nor are we comparing anything remotely uh, remotely close in bikes but the GSX-R did have a very much a softer uh, quick shifter but again I'm how do I say I'm used to it so it's a bit of a biased opinion but I find this uh, 
really easy to use so i don't really have a problem clutch is super soft of course hydraulic uh, of course easy to use responsive sits in a perfect position just a simple bike so we're going back down the same road that we did in the last one but you can just see how easy it is to use i can put the cruise control and just ride super 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 easy touch the brakes uh cruise control comes off so you switch it off and there you go very very easy it's a matter of switching it on flicking it back once shows you in green the speed you're doing hands are off easy peasy lemon squeezy uh, and if i'm not mistaken pulling it back will slow it down pushing it forward will bring it back up you just want to do a slight adjustment and there you go and then the shift cam also helps in this card because i'm doing 80 k's an hour as you can see and the cruise uh, it's in sixth gear and it's just handling it so that's where the shift cam technology comes in uh the motor is able to adjust with the cam profile there's a cam lobe nothing to it but just really really good also new i think for 21 is the usb slot i may have done it in 20 but they didn't even have one before uh, if you add the cradle you get two usb slots that powers off the bmw cradle um, again just massively easy to use so yeah i mean those that are not familiar with these bikes i know the nice thing about bmw is they're always willing to let people demo they have always surplus stock and they're always willing to demo so uh, you know go to any one of the motorrad dealerships near you if you feel like you you want to give one of these a try and a test they're always willing um go and ask them you want to ride a 2019 2020 2021 you'll get the same experience mirrors are great control is great the bike feels super super nimble really easy and in fact they feel so easy sometimes that you kind of i don't know i feel like i push mine a little bit a lot of stones on the road i push mine a little bit sometimes and you know as you've got to be aware that they are you know 200 and odd kilo bikes uh and they've got long suspension you know if that makes sense and so i, I sometimes do override them i feel uh, in the, on the road i would say but i'm on the dirt that's a different story uh, they're fantastic on the dirt i've done a couple of hard trips uh, off-road like brett's neck you should watch that video it's very funny and you see me tumble over um yeah uh you know off-road they're fantastic uh, and that's when the debate gets massive but as a touring bike they're honestly I, I i just don't know how you can match match these things they haven't been the top sellers for nothing and you can't really bash how do i say you can't really bash these bikes because they really do have all the bits they really really do have have worked and refined and developed and just cool bikes so that really is it for uh for a very very brief overview uh, i've had the bike a couple days uh, i must admit i didn't ride it as, as much as i should have but uh i have been lucky enough to ride them before so i did already have a bit of experience on them and i'm totally comfortable with them already uh and uh, you know everything really is premium the quality of the grips the 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 new black levers uh the braided lines as you can see straight braided lines for an adventure bike uh the keyless entry the well keyless start not entry like a car in start uh i'll give you an example i recently serviced uh, my 2017 i think it was a, a 30 000 service uh it was two and a half thousand didn't ask any favors didn't know anybody dropped the bike off at a dealer uh they phoned me they said this is what's due this is what it's going to cost i said no problem uh, that afternoon it was done picked the bike up it was two and a half thousand rand they pulled the uh the drive shaft out and give it a grease and a proper service and they did the oil and filters and air and bob's your uncle it was done so not expensive to service they said the most expensive would be around four and a half thousand uh for a big one maybe five uh i don't i mean i do ten thousand k's a year probably so it's once a year for me not massively expensive not out of this world uh so something to take into consideration is you know cost of services so not massive in my opinion not not massive at all 
Uh, and as you can see, it's just so easy to ride. I'll pop the cruise control on again. It was that quick. You see, click, click, and I'm on. And there we go. I can talk. I can sit back. I can relax. Don't recommend it unless you've, you've done it. Don't do as I do. But just shows you how easy it is. There's a shift cam working now because it's hardly changing any RPM, but we're climbing a hill. So as you can see, it just does what it's supposed to do. Um, and then off you go. So that's where the motor shines for me. Uh, again, don't need 180 horsepower. It doesn't need it. It reacts. The torque is in the right place. The bottom end power is in the right place. And if you want to do 300, this is not the bike to do it. But if you want to cruise at 120 with uh, uh, a pillion and you want to cruise with uh, touring bags and boxes, I promise you this bike will give you nothing but joy at 5 liters per hundred. So uh, that's another great thing. I get great fuel economy on my older bike and I know these things are a little bit better. So I've averaged sort of 6 liters per hundred. It's a 20 liter tank, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and I get, yeah, six liters per hundred on average. So yeah, you can work that out, but yeah, it, it does really well for me. Um, I'm not feeling any heat. This is something that other bikes will do. I never feel any heat between my, my thighs. Uh, I've had that before and it's it's horrible and it's annoying. And you have to kind of like open your legs like a, a weirdo on the, on the bike to cool off. But these bikes don't transfer heat, which is great. And something you don't, nobody tells you, you buy the bike, you're like, oh, it's great, it's fine. And they suddenly you're like, yes, my legs are hot. Well, this bike doesn't do that. Thank you to BMW uh, Motorhead for letting us use it for the week. There'll be an article coming soon on, um, in the magazine. So look out for that. If you don't know where to get the magazine, hit me up in the comments. Uh, or let me know somehow, or get on, go onto the Facebook page for SA Motorcyclist magazine uh, and find out where you can get the, the, the copy of the electronic magazine because you know the guys, uh, Kyle the editor puts a lot of work of his personal time to put something together for people to read some articles. It's, it's nice that it's local, it's everything involving us uh, and what happens in South Africa and, yeah, and a little bit of here and there but I just think that it's really cool that it's, it's kind of real world reviews. Uh, we're able to get a lot of information and plug it in there but I, uh, you know Kyle likes to make it more personal and I think that's super important I think it's important that you, readers and it's free guys it's absolutely free so what, what harm does it uh, take to just download a copy and read it online on your phone or uh, on your iPad or your laptop just have a look at it read through it uh, send suggestions Kyle's always open to discussions it's free have a look read and uh, let us know what you think the more readers we get the more downloads we get the better the uh, magazine sponsors get uh, the more content we can bring the better test rides we can do uh, and that kind of thing so it, it's important and it takes nothing to like and subscribe uh, we promise not to send too many videos but we want to do nice videos for you so thanks guys and uh, I hope it was short and sweet uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll do some photos and some videos now and um, we will probably see you in the next one so cheers